My name is Ludwig Eberg. I am the newest member of the PGA Tour, and we're going to do a what's in the bag. So right now, I have a bunch of clubs in my bag. Uh, normally, on a given week, I kind of throw uh, throw a few out there. Um, since you know we play with 14, obviously. Um, so my driver is the Titleist TSR2. It's the uh, nine degrees head with the black Ventus shaft, 6X. Um, it's a shaft that I've actually haven't used for a very long time, but really like it. And uh, the driver is my favorite club, so it's a lot of fun. Um, my three wood is a Stealth 2 with a 15 uh, degree head with the blue Ventus shaft. Um, reacts very nicely, goes about 250 meters. Um, that can get it pretty high up in the air, so it gives me a, a few options. Um, and then I have three clubs that kind of differ a little bit from week to week. Um, my go-to is the 2-iron, which is a uh, little bit of an older version of the Titleist TMB, um, the 718. I'm actually not sure how many degrees it is, about around, probably around 18, 19, something like that. Um, it's a nice option off the tee, and uh, it goes about 235 meters, so it's a nice to, to you know just get out there and it feels like you're hitting a forearm, but it goes a little bit further. Um, another option I have is the hybrid TSR3 uh, with a Tour AD shaft. Uh, it's a 19 degree head and goes the exact same distance as my 2 iron, but a, a very different flight and goes a lot higher. Um, and, uh, and it's nice to have these kind of options when you're playing different courses. Uh, some courses you need a little bit more height when it gets a little bit firmer, and some courses you, uh, you don't need the height and you, you just want to get it, get it in play. Um, so last week in Detroit I played the normal 3 iron and no 2 iron or 3 wood, uh, or hybrid, sorry. Um, so my irons are the Tylus T100s, uh, it's the older version from 2019 I believe, um, with the KBS Tour Shaft. Uh, it's, a, it's a club that I've used for a couple years now, four years I think, ever since it came out and really like it, I feel very comfortable with it. Um, and uh, normally I'm not a big guy in changing clubs, um, it's just the way I am and um, whatever. I think whatever I have is what I play with. So, um, and then obviously the lob wedge is changing a little bit from week to week as well. If it's a little bit firmer, I like a little bit less bounce. And if it's a little bit uh, softer, you need a little bit more bounce and also depending on the bunkers and so. So normally my go-to wedge, lob wedge is the 60V. Uh, it's a new grind that I haven't used for a very long time. Um, but I like the sole of it. It's very similar to the 8M, 68M, which is also the one that I enjoy using. Um, so on a given week, um, you know, I go between these two. Sometimes I have the T as well. It's not in my bag right now, but uh, it's a little bit sharper leaning edge and, and digs a little bit more. Um, and then my wedge setup is, is 60, 54, and 50. So I feel like it's a nice little gap between the distances. Um, and uh, and then, yeah, just try to get, a, get, the, get the wedges as close to the hole as you can. Um, and then my putter, is uh, it's a little bit of an older putter. It's an Odyssey Versa. Uh, works 350 grams. Um, I've actually uh, made it longer, so it's 36 and a half inches. Um, so normally, initially it was 34, but um, I'm pretty tall, so I like to get a little bit more connection with my uh, with my arms, and the putter uh, allowed me to do that when I made it a little bit longer. Um, so. Uh, that's pretty much what I have. It's pretty simple. I don't like to change a whole lot, but uh, so you're probably not going to see me change too much in the future either. But um, that's about the 22 clubs I have in my bag right now. Uh, so uh, we'll see what 14 makes the makes the cut for Thursday.